Halloween 2015. You guys ready for Halloween? Uh -huh. What are you guys gonna be? Jack Skellington. Jack Skellington and Sally. So this setup is powered by three Raspberry Pi 2s with Windows on devices. All the source for this can be found on GitHub slash T Whitten under Holiday Show. Each one of these guys have their own control box. Inside the control box, we'll have a Raspberry Pi, a simple little breadboard, and a bunch of solid state relays. These guys plug into an Amazon $10 gas valve and a little homemade little uh, pilot light. I haven't had much success with pilot lights that light automatically. My strobes are essentially LED lights and programmed off of a timer internally. This is our software for it. And you can see about how many messages a second. Right now you can see uh, there's three Raspberry Pis connected to this. Shows how long they've been connected for, how many messages a second, and how many total messages are sent. I sure am, honey. He's sending it on YouTube! The kids love this. The Windows on Devices has been a joy to develop for. It's been a lot of fun. Right now I have it set to random. 
can actually go. I wrote an editor for this so I can go over my surface while I'm sitting out in the front yard and uh, I can see all the different devices. Let's see if my phone will zoom in on this with the constant changing everything. And I can see that there's my first IoT. Here's all of the different pins available. Here's all my different sets. In the sets I can actually select what music is going to play. I can send music to any device and I can also overlap music and scary sounds. Uh, new for 2015 I added an effects section which will essentially be programmed to run the entire length of the entire set. I pre-programmed some different um, effects, GPIO random, GPIO strobe, GPIO on, and strobe delay which can be nice for a non-constant strobe light. My sets is where you can configure what you want. So in this case, this was Nightmare Before Christmas. I said I wanted my first IoT device to be playing. This is the Halloween. And start at different times, different strobing. So, uh, and then I also have a, a different scheduler. So you can have it set to playback random, as well as when it turns on and off. And so I don't annoy the neighbors, I also have it configured to turn the audio off at a certain time. I also have a special pin for any pin that might be a danger. So I uh, can uncheck that box and it'll turn off any of those uh, fire pins or anything else that might be used in the future. And then I can over my UNC share add any number of audio files. And uh, if the IoT device doesn't have it through the custom protocol, uh, it will download it on demand and store it in the, the user state of the IoT device. Um, this is designed for Windows on devices, so it technically will work with things other than the Raspberry Pi 2. This is my third year doing this. I started with the Raspberry Pi 1 under Linux with Mono and moving it and porting it over to Windows uh, on devices was very simple with uh, only a couple minor changes. I had it up and running within a couple hours. So, quite cool. Great job, Microsoft. Keep the updates coming.